Wycom, Texas. Uh-oh. And we're back. And we're back. Hello, everyone. And we're recording right now? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wacom, Texas, the show where you dream past the part. And we screencast some art. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. And this is... Famous Clisset, thanks for having me on your show, you guys. Oh, Thank yeah. you. We're happy to have you. Cheers. Thanks for the very delicious pirate's booty that you shipped to me. Yeah. It's the uh, uh, it's snack the of artists. Preferred snack preferred. of Wacom, Texas. Yeah. Okay. So what we're doing today is a little bit different. Chris went ahead and drew a scenic view of Christmas in Brooklyn. And Seamus here is going to show us a couple really cool... Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Brooklyn, New York. And Seamus is going to show us... Some... I'm going to show you um, some, some uh, brush techniques that I've developed. I'm a professional uh, Photoshop educator. And, wow, oh, wow. Um, these, are some, cool. these are some brush settings that we can play with. I'm also a very professional... Uh, Christmas card designer. Oh, um, jackpot. It's convenient because it's Christmas send, in July. Send you, mm -hmm. Maybe I can send you guys some JPEGs of my previous work later, but we, we can get right into the, the brush settings. But um, Cool. We would love to see yeah, those. This is, uh, this is something that I do, and um, it's Christmas in July, obviously, so uh, everyone is sweltering in the heat here. We're looking forward to all the snow. Definitely. Yeah, we're excited about this. And you can see behind us some of Seamus' work right over in this area. In this area right here. Seamus is very prolific. Very prolific uh, Photoshop artist. But I have to say that I, there is a mutual respect here for you guys because I watch your show religiously. And uh, obviously from you know one Photoshop educator to... To another or to you guys uh, there's there's much respect and as everyone knows there's a lot of bad tutorials on the internet yeah we've you have experienced to, you know, that to sort out you know the good from the bad you have to be sort of wise about that so hopefully we'll do something here that um, people will appreciate and they'll learn something from mm -hmm. yeah we get that all the time where it's like hey we learn stuff when we watch your show but when but we watch other people we don't learn anything it's like who knows there's yeah. just junk information out there there's a lot of bogus information if you go down the wrong path you could really turn into a terrible photoshopper so yeah that's true all right let's jump right in yeah so so we've got the brooklyn snowy scene this is very accurate this looks like a little tree branch. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely it's does. Mm -hmm. Fallen from this is probably Prospect Park. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're thinking. What is it? Prospect? Prospect Park. Oh, okay. Yeah, Prospect Park, Brooklyn. Very popular. Prostitute Park or Prospect? Okay, Chris. Okay. I, I thought he was. Okay. All right. Sorry. So what I'm going to show you is how to make some nice Merry Christmas text in the snow here that you could send to your family. Oh, this is fun. Cool. Yeah. My mom. My mom is very religious. She's a Southern Baptist, and she loves Christmas. So this, this could be a good trick for her. It's like a writing in the snow kind of situation. Um, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of the. I have a preset already built. Whoa. Here that Whoa. I, that I with. But I'm gonna show you a couple of the settings that I use. Like first of all. I've never heard of a preset. You should, yeah. I think is is the scattering setting. You oh, want nice. your brush to scatter a little bit. Um, I've never heard of that. For, yeah, that's good to know. It look like it's going in the snow a little bit. Um, so we've got that. We've got some uh, some noise added here, oh. which just gives it a little more breakup, some subtle texture, you know. Um, we've got the air. Does that mess with the volume or the, the with the volume? The noise. The noise. It's like a louder brush stroke. <laughs> Like, if you can see the preview here, when I click the noise off, it just adds a little extra little grain. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. So that's a nice little added, it's just a texture thing. It makes it look like maybe little tiny, tiny snowflakes are at the edges there, maybe. Hmm. I, think Jay's, I think Jay's nickname in college was Wet Edges. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it not? Sorry. I love the Wet Edges brush act. I gotta be honest with you. I did so much work with the Wet Edges brush. Huh. Hmm. 
That's like an oil painting when you keep a nice wet edge so you can drag colors into it. It's probably pretty similar, hmm. digital. It's sort of, it looks a little bit like watercolory. Oh, I like watercolor. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so those are the main, uh, the, definitely give it some scatter. So we're up at like 200% scatter here. I've got the shape dynamic so that the size changes a little bit. It's also a textural thing. I've got this up at 69%. Huh. Uh, airbrush is clicked on so, so that if you go, if you just uh, with the brush, if you hold it down, normally it just makes one little dot, but the airbrush will like, if you hold it down, it just keeps adding more color. Whoa. Uh, sure you guys know this, but. Yeah, I airbrush in my garage. One who's following along at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be interested in these things. So, uh, so what. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely know this stuff. We've used. Um, of course. Yeah. yeah I, would, I wouldn't have doubted mm. that at all. I've never heard of this stuff, really, have you? No idea. So I'm going to just put my brushes back here, and then I'm gonna, we're going to look at the other important thing, which is going to be the layer setting. So I'm going to add a new blank layer that I'm going to put my writing in. And this is part of a good workflow, I'd say, hmm. so that you're hmm. not affecting your background layer. You're, we're going to do all of our work in this separate layer so that if something gets messed up, we can just get rid of it really easily. And this is in, in Photoshop, huh? In Photoshop, it's a non-destructive workflow. So this reminds me. If I just drew something in hmm. Chris's background layer here, and then I wanted, and then I did like a whole bunch of things that were beyond the scope of my history, so I couldn't go back all the way, then I would have ruined his picture. Yeah, oh, if I do point. my work in this layer that's on top, then I can. Let's just, for example, make a little. My mom makes seven-layer lasagna. So she starts with like uh, spinach and then sauce and then noodles and then this kind of all very similar. This yeah. is like this is like being able oh. to make that seven layer lasagna and then put down Parmesan cheese and mm. then if you decide mm. actually you want Romano cool. cheese, that's pretty just cool. Just take that layer off and redo it. Yeah, that's cool. So, this reminds me of the have a nice day smiley face. Here's the yeah, here's sort of a smiley face. Oh that's cool. Like, we like mm -hmm. those. We like those a lot. But here we've got our, our top layer is our little circle of yellow, and if I don't want it, I can just turn it off. With whoa, it. whoa, so, that's pretty cool. That's just the logic behind why, why I'm doing it. Yeah, that's cool. Just go back if we need. But the other good part, I'm gonna make a new layer here, and then I'm gonna also show you, this is, this is very important to... Whoa. These are some layer styles that I can apply, and you, you obviously you guys know about this too. But yeah. I've developed a custom layer style, which is going to work in combination with my brush that I've made. Wow, this is like good. This is like good, clean. Yeah, good, clean, wholesome fun that we're having here. I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, me too. Everyone's learning a lot. Yeah. I'm enjoying my delicious Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, as as we are as well. So let's uh, let's get to it. I've shown you the brush presets. I'm gonna use my I'm brush so uh, confused, dude. tool with my preset that I just showed you, and then I'm gonna choose How'd, a nice oh. color for it, maybe like this yellowish color. This is really advanced. And we'll just start writing a little Mer Merry Christmas in the snow here. Whoa! Okay, you're not seeing it yet because <laughs> you're, you're really gonna see the effect. Wow. I apply the layer style, but and his opacity is out. Whatever you want. Okay, there's Merry Christmas. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That is cool. Or you could write yeah. Happy Hanukkah. Or, yeah, any holidays. We don't. We we're picking this one because this is one that we <clears throat> right. appreciate. But you could put any holiday. Right. In well, you're there. agnostic, right? Are you agnostic? No, no. This is my holiday. Oh. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my! There is the <laughs> effect. This. Is something that my Chihuahua would write. My Chihuahua would write this. That is amazing. Are you offended? It looks a little bit like you urine. No. It what? looks a little like urine. No. I mean, we're not quite getting the color I wanted. Let's let's go a little bit, maybe a little more brilliant with that color. I don't know. Wow. And you don't have to go back when you change the color. You don't have to go back and pick another brush and redo it. You yeah, can you change. Do. 
Exactly. So Whoa. You know, look, exactly. If I you don't messed to... this up, then I'll just go back to my layers and turn it off. Whoa. Whoa. This is Whoa. something you can't real life uh, with snow writing like this. No, you can't redo it. The magic of Photoshop lets us. Wow. Do exactly. Wow. That. that is cool. Wow. That's my name, Chris. Miss. Huh. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta put the cross in. You gotta put the cross in Christmas. That is epic. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of that song "Fairy Tale of New York" by the Pogues, where they talk about Christmas in the drunk oh, tank. Yeah. Sure. This know. is exactly what the Pogues uh, would be doing if they were in New York at Christmas. Peeing in the snow. Okay. After some drinks. And okay. <laughs> some bourbon, maybe. No. Okay. Maybe a bourbon toast. So then should we just uh, save this out in an emailable form? So yeah. Yep. So we yeah. just do, we'll go from here and just do a save for web, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. What's that? Oh, that, that's a cool I song. don't know what the web, yeah. for like spider web? Yeah. It makes it, makes it specifically for the interweb. Huh. And I'm just going to say yes. Fine. It's really big, I guess. This file. Oh, yeah, this is a big file. But what happened to the brown? The stick. Oh, it's... I'm going to just change the settings. It's all going to come back. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wow, that's pretty advanced stuff today. I hope you guys were able to follow along. I know I was able to. This is a complicated tutorial, so luckily we're... Piece of cake. No, I understood it. Go back and they can watch it multiple times. Like, I mean, that's what I would recommend. Yeah. Uh, well, unless you're, you know, better users, you only need to watch it yeah, once. We... But... Yeah, we're really advanced users. For the smart for the smart tutorial. Right, but for those who are just learning, you can go ahead and rewind it and watch it again if you need yeah, to. Yeah, I would warn. We should have warned at the beginning that this is not a basic tutorial. This is a little more advanced. Yeah. Right. We've right. been doing it for a while, so we thought well, let's let's make it a little more advanced. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're into 30, 30 something episodes, so we thought maybe it's a good time to learn how to use the brush tool. Yeah. You know, now that we're into thirty something. Never, never, never too early, you know. It sounds like great timing. You don't want to rush it, but, you know. Mm. All right, so I'm just going to save this, and we'll make it uh, shameful Christmas underscore P. Okay. Well, we well yeah, that's a little bit. You can name it anything you want. You don't have to name it P. You can name it, like, Wee or... Wee? Yeah. Really? I would have named it... File name can be anything. Mm -hmm. I would have named it Piss Fest. Okay. That's just me. Chris... Come on, we're trying to keep it like a Merry Christmas. I would have been like, Merry Pissmas. Okay, I'm Chris. Piss all over your Christmas. Okay. That's just me, though. Yeah, it's not even, that's disgusting. Well, we're very excited to have uh, Seamus Clissette here, fake Shame, aka Fake Seamus, and it's been a real treat. That's what they call me. It's been a real treat. Thank you. That's our Thanks episode. Seamus. That's it. It's been a super pleasure. Here, do the. Let's do it again. Clink 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 clink, 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 clink. All right, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Wycom, Texas. Texas.